So let's just jump right into it. So the play I wanted to start with first is the, actually the very first offensive play of the game for the Green Wave. Um, as we can see here, you know, we're kind of aligned in this very standard shotgun formation. Uh, but what you may not have noticed when you first saw it is in the slot here, we have uh, YG Booker, who is, who's a running back. Uh, and this is, this is, you know, somewhat unusual to have a running back out in the slot like this, um, but not totally unusual for this Green Wave offense as, uh, you know, Will Hall liked to do this last year is kind of throw uh, players like Amari Jones and, uh, and, and Cam Carroll all over the field. Uh, however, in this case, we have YG Booker, who's a, who's a sophomore this year, I believe. Young player, but very talented. And he's just going to kind of run this fade down the uh, field like this while Jatavian Tolls runs this drag route across the field. Um, and he's just going to be uh, playing against number five here in straight man coverage. And he's going to make this incredible grab on the very first play of the game for a huge gain. So let me just show you that here. Pratt takes a snap, floats this ball perfectly to where it needs to go for YG Booker to make that grab. Let's take a look at that again. Look at perfectly placed ball right, right into YG Booker's space here. And he's just going to make this incredible one-handed grab for an amazing gain. So no wonder Chip Long has YG Booker lined up wide in the slot as a receiver. Because, I mean, this guy's got speed, he's got hands, and you're going to see later in this, uh, in this game film, he has YG Booker doing all sorts of things on the offense. Uh, but I'm not going to get into that right now. Let's, uh, let's talk about the next play that I'd like to get into, which is actually our first touchdown of the game. Uh, it was a, I believe, a seven-yard touchdown pass to uh, Cam Carroll here in the backfield. And the play that's going to be run is going to be called a mesh. Uh, so this receiver here is going to run a shallow drag. Uh, this receiver here, who I believe is Jaquan Jackson, he's going to run a drag as well. Um, Jatavian Tolls here, who goes into motion a lot during this game, goes into motion on this play, and he's going to kind of run across the field here. And what that's going to accomplish is that's going to kind of draw all of these players' eyes to this side of the field. And he's going to kind of make it seem like the play is going to go this way. Uh, when in reality... It's not. Um, it's it's going to be an easy, easy open touchdown for Cam Carroll here, as you're about to see in a moment. So Tolls is going to go into motion. And, I mean, there's not a guy within within 10 yards of Cam Carroll here. I mean, he is just completely wide open. And as you can see, everyone's going to kind of shift on the OU defense. Everyone's going to kind of shift this way. He's going to run over here. He's going to run over here. These guys are not paying attention to Cam Carroll at all. They're looking at the Jatavian Tolls motion right here. And Carroll is just going to be wide open on this touchdown grab. Uh, no one is near him. And you'll see later in this video, they're going to run a very, very similar mesh play, which, if you remember, results in the exact same thing. Cam Carroll going for a receiving touchdown. This is his first one of the game. Uh, he'll get a second one later on a very similar mesh play. Let's just show that again. Look at that. Easy six points. That's against a... Very, very good and talented Sooners offense with multiple five-star recruits on that defensive line. Uh, next play I want to show you guys uh, is also going to highlight the passing game. Just an FYI, I'm probably going to be highlighting uh, a lot more passes and, and pass plays during this analysis, during this film analysis, than runs, as that seemed to be more the emphasis during this game. Uh, so on this play, we're going to kind of highlight sort of the uh, tight end pass catching ability of both of our tight ends here. Tyrick James, number 80, and Will Wallace, number 84. Um, this was something Chip Long liked to do a lot at Notre Dame. You know, he had two very talented tight ends on his roster, uh, one of them being Cole Komet, who was a uh, third round pick, I believe, in the 2020 draft. He's on the Bears now. Um, and just like with that Notre Dame offense, uh, Chip Long is kind of sticking with his guns and using the tight ends a lot in the passing game here. So as you're going to see, it's a, it's a heavy formation with both tight ends uh, on the wing here. Um, Cam Carroll in the backfield, it's uh, 12 personnel, meaning two tight ends and one running back. And the the passing concept here is uh, it's going to be called stick flat. So the, let's start with the flat 
version of that first. That's the easy part. Uh, pretty much what's going to happen is Cam Carroll here in the backfield, he's just going to run a flat route to the short side of the field. The stick part applies to Will Wallace here, who's lined up as a tight end. He's going to go out about five yards, and he's going to make a decision. He's going to decide whether he wants to stick, just stay right here, just stick in the middle right here, or he's going to kind of just run a quick little out here. And what influences that decision is what he thinks is going to be either zone or man coverage. So if he thinks it's zone coverage, which it was in this case, he's just going to stick right here about five yards down the, uh, past the line of scrimmage. If it's man coverage, he's just going to run with it, and he's going to try to beat whoever's covering him in man. However, this was zone coverage, and he's just going to stick into this zone right here, and he's going to take this uh, catch for a nice little game. So there he goes, running the route. He's going to stop right here at the top of your, or at the, uh, on the left of your screen. He's going to sit right there, and then he's able to do about six, seven yards after the catch for the first down. So again, very simple play design, yet very effective quick passing game against this OU defensive line, which has been getting pressure on Pratt all day. These quick passes have really were really the key to, to most of our success on Saturday, was getting the ball out quick, stressing this, these OU linebackers in, in defensive backs with this quick passing game. Getting the tight ends involved. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Uh, next thing I want to show you guys is actually uh, happened very shortly after this play on the same drive. Uh, so here we kind of got an interesting formation. Uh, we got kind of a shotgun uh, with Carroll here in the backfield, and Tyreek James kind of lined up in this H-back, fullback position about two yards behind the offensive line. And what's going to happen is Tolls, again, as he's been you know, doing pretty much the entire game, he's going to go into motion in front of Pratt, like so. Cam Carroll is going to fake the... Uh, or I'm sorry, Pratt's going to fake the handoff to Carroll going this way. So now you have OU defenders kind of watching the field horizontally here, not really focusing on what's happening here because there's so much happening in this area. Uh, but what's going to happen is during this, you know, kind of these, these these trickery here, fake handoff to Tolls, fake handoff to Carroll, is Tyrick James is going to be wide open on this wheel route down the uh, down the top of your screen here. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Um, just, uh, there we go. So Tolls goes into motion, fakes it to Tolls, fakes it to Carroll. Now look at Tyrick James up here. He just runs his wheel route. There's nobody around him. Look at him. The closest guy is like, I don't know, six or seven yards away. You know, so this play was perfectly schemed for Tyreek James to just, just run away with the ball and get wide open on this play. Again, look, he just blows past number 35 here. This guy, this guy, nobody's covering him. He's just wide open on that wheel route. The free safety playing 20 yards deep has to come up and make the tackle. And this was part of the big reason why Tyreek James had such a good day on Saturday was because uh, Chip Long was, you know, scheming for him to get, get, get both of our tight ends open, him and Will Wallace open on plays like this where he's just, you know, there's nobody near him, no one covering him because everyone's so focused on the OU defense. They're so focused on what's happening here and not that, you know, this tight end can just blow right past you, get wide open for a catch. Again, excellent play design, good use of motion, good use of the tight end in the, in the pass catching situation. Uh, these types of plays were 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 killing OU all game. Uh, now the next play I'd like to show you. Uh, again, really, just uh, lots of motion. You know, creative yet simple. So again, we have Jatavian Tolls going into motion number twenty three at the bottom of your screen. You're going to see him a lot in this video, by the way. Um, and he's going to take the handoff from Pratt. And we're in this same 12 personnel heavy formation with Will Wallace lined up inside, Tyreek James uh, next to him, and then uh, I believe this is Cam Carroll. Yeah, that's Cam Carroll uh, lined up uh, in the backfield. Um, and they're going to run a lot, of, a lot of different plays from this formation. Uh, this particular one is going to be a jet sweep to Tolls, and both the tight ends here, Wallace and James, are going to kind of kick out and act as lead blockers for him as he takes the ball. 
Uh, and Carroll's going to get in on that action too, and he's also going to be a lead blocker. So this is just a very simple, you know, kind of outside zone run to the wide receiver, uh, which is going, which in this case results in a touchdown, which and it is very well executed. Uh, so let me just play that for you, show you how that looks. So 23, Tolls takes the ball. And you can see Wallace and James up here are looking for their guys to block. So is Carroll. Tolls makes a tackler miss, breaks another tackle, boom. Easy six points for him. He makes it look like it is just child's play, going right past these defenders. And again, another wonderfully designed play by Chip Long. He's giving Tolls lots of blockers, lots of help on this play. Whoops. Missed that. Giving him lots of help on this play. He's got three blockers in front of him. You know, very, very well designed. So let me skip ahead into the third quarter now, um, just to kind of give you guys an idea of, you know, uh, what we were looking like on fourth down. So we converted four out of six fourth downs in this game, which all things considered, you know, against an OU defense with very talented players, that's pretty damn good to convert your fourth downs 66% of the time. That's pretty damn good. And a big reason for that was uh, Chip Long's fourth down play calling and scheming to get these players open on fourth down. So what's going to happen here is Tajay Spears, who's lined up wide, uh, he's going to be motioned into the backfield here next to Pratt. And what he's going to do after that is he's going to run just this little wheel route right here, and he's going to take the ball, get it, get exactly what he needs for a first down. Um, so let me kind of just show you what it, that looks like. So Pratt's going to motion him back. Now, once he motions him back here, now the OU defense is like, okay, this could be a run. We need to keep our eyes near the line of scrimmage because this could very well be a run. You know, three, four seconds prior, there, th this was either a QB run or a pass because there's no running back in the backfield. Now that you're bringing him back here, now you're kind of threatening both. Uh, and so that's what these guys are kind of doing. They're kind of thinking about what needs to happen. So as I said before, Tajay is going to run this quick wheel route to the top of your screen. He's going to take the ball, make that tackler miss, get exactly what he needs to convert the first down. Um, and how this is kind of schemed is these players up here in this bunch formation are, they're just going to kind of just run routes all over the place. I, I don't know the exact route combination. I don't even know if, you know, the play is designed to go to any of them. Uh, from what I can see, it's just specifically designed for him. So these guys are going to kind of clear out these defenders at the top of the screen so then Tajay can get open and make the easy grab for the first down. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Uh, next one I'd like to show you is again a mesh. Uh, the very first, if you guys remember, the very first touchdown of the game was run using mesh. Uh, here we see it again in this situation. So it's third down and five. You know, we just need a few yards. Um, you know, it's mesh concept with 12 personnel. Again, two tight ends and a running back. So... We've seen this formation before. Tyreek James is here. Will Wallace is here. Kind of a heavy formation. Could be a run, could be a pass. You don't really know. Uh, however, it's going to be a pass. And Shea Wyatt is just going to run this drag here. And it's going to kind of create a sort of pick play with the two defenders uh, that are covering both the drag routes. So he's going to run this drag. And I believe it's uh, Tyreek James running this drag. And the defenders covering each of them are going to kind of, you know, get kind of in each other's way, which is going to allow Shea Wyatt to just kind of run away with this. So here's Shea Wyatt here. Here's the defender covering Tyreek James. Here's the defender covering Shea Wyatt. And as you can see, he's going to kind of run into Tyreek James a little bit. And that's, that's going to give him plenty of space to make this grab and take it for the first down. So... Great job with Chip Long kind of putting those defenders in conflict and 
allowing Shea Wyatt to just run this very simple route and get lots of yards after the catch for the first down. Now, again, next play I'm going to show you, mesh again. We love it, right? <laughs> They're going to run it again, uh, except, of hitting, in, except instead of hitting either of the drag routes, um, James, uh, Tyreek James is going to be wide open uh, about right here in the middle of the field uh, for the first down. Um, and Tyreek James was a very effective safety valve on fourth down. I believe this was his first fourth down catch of the game. He makes another one later on, uh, I believe it was fourth and seven or four, a fourth and six. Um, and Tyreek James is just going to run this little hook in the middle while these guys run drags. So again, it's mesh. And instead of hitting the drags, he's going to hit a wide open Tyreek James in the middle of the field. There he is. No one near him for about five yards. And I have to think that has to do with these linebackers here kind of over-pursuing the drag routes over the middle of the field. They're kind of ready for that. They're looking for that uh, when that's not at all what's happening. And that allows uh, James to be open. So take a look at that. They're going to run these drags here. This is Tolls. Uh, I'm not exactly sure who this is. The quality of the video is not really allowing me to, uh, you know, <laughs> see what his jersey number is. And he's just going to kind of run this cross over the field. And you can't see James here, but he's going to run his hook just over the first down marker. And that's going to allow him to be wide open for this play. So again, smart play by Tyreek James being open exactly where he needs to be. Good reads by Pratt. Excellent execution by the offense. Uh, speaking of passes to the tight end, the next play is really going to highlight Tyreek James's intelligence as a receiver. So here he's going to go into motion, and he's going to uh, run his route from the slot here. And what this is telling Michael Pratt is whether this is going to be man or zone, or in this case, a blitz. So there's nobody following Tyreek James across the formation when he does this motion. So this is telling Pratt, okay, he's probably going to be uncovered here. I think I should hit him on this route. And that's exactly what happens. They're going to blitz. They're going to bring five people here. Um, and nobody is going to be covering Tyreek James. He's going to be open on this little hook. I think this was meant to be as a tight end option where James has the option uh, to run different routes depending on the coverage. I I'm honestly not sure, uh, but regardless, excellent play by Pratt and excellent play by Tyreek James. Very heads up by both of them. And again, another fourth down conversion, Pratt to James. I have a feeling we're going to be seeing that a lot for the rest of the year. Is a lot of action with the tight ends. A lot of these types of short but controlled passes during our drives. So that's all I really wanted to show you guys for now. I don't want to let this video get too long. Um, I'll probably release another analysis later, kind of outlining uh, some of the other plays on the offense and also going through the defense, kind of running through, uh, you know, Spencer Rattlers, both of his interceptions, how he pulled those off, and going through some of the other, uh, you know, defenders who I think warrant a lot of attention, such as uh, uh, Jeffrey Johnson, Larry Brooks, uh, Mac and Clark as well. So thanks for tuning in, guys. I uh, hope to be releasing another video soon. Thanks.